Hi, here we have a nice line of jumping equation. M is star 4 is equals to minus 4. Here we are going to find out the value of M. Let's start our solution. In the first step, I will going to take this negative 4 to the left hand side. So it will turn to positive 4 is equals to 0. Now, in the next step, I will going to add two more terms in this equation. M is power 4 plus 4 plus 4m squared minus 4m squared. If I will going to cancel out both positive and negative, I will get the same above equation. Now, I will going to rearrange this equation. m raised to power 4 plus 4 raised to power m squared plus 4 minus 4m squared is equal to 0. If you can see here, this all three terms in the form of perfect square. Our perfect square formula, formula is a plus b over square square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. So here, uh, this uh, expression is in the same form. So I will go we have m is a and uh, here b is 2. So I will going to write m square plus 2 4 is to power 2 minus this I can write in this form 4 is to power 2 is equals to 0. Now we have one more algebraic identity that is a square minus b square is equals to a plus b a minus b. So by using this algebraic identity, I will going to write this equation. This is R A and this is R B. So this equation turns to this is R A. So M square plus two plus two M our first expression is M square plus two and here I put the positive so here I will do negative two m that it close is equals to zero. So here we get the two cases. The first case we have m square plus two plus two m is equals to zero m square plus two minus two m is equals to zero. Now this is in the, both the equation in the quadratic form. So we are in this equation m square plus 2m plus 2 is equals to 0. Now I'm going to plug in this a, b, and c value in the quadratic formula that is. So here our b value is positive 2 plus minus 2 square minus 1 and c is 2 over 2 1. It will turn to negative 2 plus minus 4 minus and 4 to times 8 over 2. This will turn to negative 2 plus minus negative 4 over 2. If you remember, root of negative 1 is equals to iota, so I'm going to replace this negative with iota. So it will turn to m is equals to minus 2 plus minus root of 4 we have 2 and in the case one of negative I will going to write iota over 2. Now we're going to solve this further is equals to minus 2 plus minus 2 iota over 2 and this over 2.
this and this get cancelled, this and this get cancelled. So the remaining expression we will get n is equal to minus one plus minus iota. This is our first case answer. Now we're going to use the second expression. First, I'm going to rearrange it according to the powers. Again, I'm going to use the quadratic formula here. Here we have A, B, and C. So B is negative 2 plus minus root negative 2 minus by minus R1. A is 1 and C is 2 over 2 and R A is 1. As I solve this, I will get positive 2 plus minus 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 plus positive 2 and it will turn to positive 4 and negative 8 over 2. m is equals to 2 plus minus negative 4 over 2. Now uh, I will again going to write 2 positive negative root 4 or I can write root negative 1. Or you can write directly as I have told you other. So the root of negative 1 we have iota. M is equals to 2 plus minus 2 iota over 2. Now I will going to simplify this expression further. M is equals to 2 over 2 plus minus 2 iota over 2. This and this get cancelled, this and this get cancelled. So I will get m is equals to 1 plus minus iota. Here uh, I will get the m value that is 1 plus minus iota. So from this given equation, we will get four m values. m1 is equals to negative 1 plus iota m2 is equals to negative 1 negative iota m3 is equals to 1 plus iota m4 is equals to 1 negative iota so here we get the complex solution so there is no real solution for that given equation thanks for watching the video